Hey guys, it's Coach Kearns here. I'm um, going to talk to you here about making gerunds a little bit easier. The definition of a gerund is that it's a form of verb or an action word uh, that ends in ing and acts like a noun. These can be used as subjects, direct objects, uh, as a predicate noun, or as the object of a preposition. Um, really what you need to know is simple form. It's the ing form of a verb being used as a noun. So you're flipping that word's part of speech. Some examples, running is a great way to get exercise. In this case, running is being used as a noun. Sneezing always hurts my neck. That's fact. And it's the ing form of a verb being used as a noun. A fun way to exercise is by playing. Playing there becomes a noun as a thing that you can do, um, just taking the ing form of the verb play. So changing verbs into gerunds. Looking at a verb and saying, okay, how can I rewrite this sentence using the gerund form? My mom drives like an old lady. Verb is drives, highlighted in red. I change it to driving like an old lady is what my mom does. So basically I just flip that sentence around, change a couple of words, and I say the same thing in a different way. I lost my wallet on Monday. The verb lost is an irregular verb, so I can't just add ing and make it losting. I need to figure out what that form is. It is lose, and so losing my wallet on Monday was not fun. Again, I'm just using the ing form of this verb as a noun, and that is called a gerund. It allows me to rewrite my sentence. A few more examples here. My wife runs three times per week. Change that to a gerund by adding ing. Running three times a week is something my wife does. See how I have to relocate this um, verb with ing at the end? Um, to the beginning of a sentence in order to make it act as a noun. My two cats wrestle in the middle of the night. I always wake up in the middle of the night because of my cats wrestling. Wrestling there is at the end of a sentence. You'll see you can do that either at the beginning or the end, or you can even leave it in the middle sometimes. Um, but you have to move around the gerund to fit the rewrite of the sentence because we're trying to say the same thing just in a slightly different way to change up our sentence structure. So why should we do that? Why is it important? Gerunds are a great way to spice up your writing. They allow the writer to share the same idea using multiple formats. And by switching up your sentence structure in your writing, you keep the reader interested and engaged. That's why gerunds are important to use they make our writing more interesting, they help us vary our sentence structure, and they really are easy. You just add ing to a verb and use it as a noun.